Hi Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me here for another reading. So yeah, we're going to open this one up with some astral messages. If you have already been around, you know what time it is. If you're new, this is just where I connect directly to spirit to be able to anchor down predictions for events that are currently unfolding in your life or could have been. And then we'll take a look at what will be. All right, so the first event was, there was this um, theme that was going on around a husband and wife and them kind of clearing up some kind of situation. And I feel like it was some kind of soul contract for a lot of you that you had kind of I'm hearing like initiated so maybe it was something that you unconsciously had initiated at the time and it was spirit kind of mirroring to you um maybe like aspects within yourself that needed to be healed or something that you had to give yourself that another person was not really able to was not capable of okay so here we go um I was being shown the knight of cups reversed now if you don't know anything about the knight of cups reversed I'm gonna go ahead and explain this knight to you now, this is at the shadow side of this particular water night, which is a lot to do with emotional manipulation. It's a lot to do with somebody wanting fantasy in their life, but not like accepting reality as it is. OK, so it's where we can allow ourselves, if this is you, um, to fall for like head over heels over somebody. And maybe it's like chasing the idea of what you want a situation to be rather than the reality of how somebody actually shows up for you. Okay. And it's um, an element as well where you could have your heads in the clouds quite literally to the point where you may be ignoring every possible red flag that has been shown your way and you're wanting to see them as green or you're trying to convince yourself that they're green um maybe there's like mind-blowing like physical connection or something of that nature and that kind of clouds your judgment a little bit you know but it's something that could feel good in the moment but it's f like falling in love with an illusion pretty much and uh it's a kind of a night that you could deal with where again they kind of sweep you off your feet you know again don't get get twisted this person comes in like a total romantic um but it's an illusion you know they want you to fall in love with the illusion that they're presenting to you so it is deceptive um there's definitely an element where it may be for a good time okay but as soon as you start to see the reality of the situation you'll realize that you only end up getting hurt in the end okay and it could be something that you build that physical like reliance on in some ways um so yeah it's about really seeing if somebody was answering your questions um and actually listening to somebody's answers okay and not just like trying to it's like is somebody giving you answers that they think that you want to hear or is it like the true honest answers you know it's about actually listening to what people aren't saying instead of what it is that they could be and seeing what their actions are doing that their words uh may not be kind of like supporting or backing up you know um or like things that people could say and their actions are inconsistent with that you know it's about looking for any kind of inconsistencies because you have to pay more attention with like the body language and the things that could be you could be psychically picking up on when you're dealing with these particular individuals so now i feel like because you've dealt with somebody you can identify acknowledge and recognize and accept pretty quickly um the same vibration even if that comes through different faces i feel like for a lot of you now yeah and it's just is somebody embodying like stability longevity and balance like within themselves because if they can't even do that for themselves then again maybe this person just isn't capable of doing that for you um and again at the same time this person could have been jealous maybe you found yourself um embracing these lower octaves again maybe that was being mirrored to you this person will come in like a very strong love bomber uh they're a heartbreaker they're like taking chances and they could be manipulative especially emotionally and at the end there was this man that passed away and a woman that got away as she waited for a train and this is an opportunity where you're moving through some kind of new transition in your life and you're realizing that a loss was actually a gain okay and especially if it's bringing you peace of mind she also had a feeling that she may be haunted by her past and the past could come back and test her so just know that here Aquarius maybe you feel like someone's kind of keeping up to you uh, up with you or something is still lingering in the hallways of your heart uh, in that way and yeah there was just a lot that was kind of going on there i think i'm just gonna i'm leaving it off quite short today and then we're gonna overlay this with the tarot so yeah it was kind of giving me again like siren energy i'll link that one in the description box down below if you haven't watched that but that's gonna come out before this again like siren energy someone that is programmed in a particular way uh where they could 
again, it's like hurt people hurt people. You know, there's something that they could feel inadequate internally where they kind of have unrequited love and that's the way that they kind of show up, you know. Okay, so with that being said, my Aquarius placements, let's go ahead and open up with your soul's journey messages. This is going to be the vibration that you guys need to embody more of during this time that is going to help you with this story. This is what Spirit was showing me, so this is what we're going to do today. We have honesty, very, very fitting, and we have denial at the base, and we have guilt. Okay, so um, this is the energy of being expected to tell white lies and also expecting to tell white lies, even if this is, like, unconsciously, right? Because the truth, you know... It doesn't, it, it doesn't necessarily always feel good. Um, sometimes it does actually hurt, but it will set you free, okay? It will help you transcend illusions into the truth. And this is about being honest with yourself at all times. Maybe this is about you guys embodying the energy of, you know what, I'm not even gonna set expectations on, upon other people, but at the same time, you best believe I'm not going to lower my standards either. You know, I'm not going to set expectations because that way I don't get disappointed. I'm going to allow people to show up truthfully and honestly uh, as who they are. And I'm not even going to bother like compromising my piece, trying to point out somebody's true colors because their lack of character will always end up revealing itself. And as soon as that moment comes, then, you know, I'm not going to be the one to kind of stick around. Um, so again, this is, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Again, is this something that you do want to st like stand because, non-action is also an action and you could be like subconsciously to like teaching somebody how to treat you by choosing how much it is that you actually tolerate okay because you're seeing what it is that you want from a situation rather than the reality of what it actually is um so very very fitting there now we have guilt i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth so once you do that again it's re-examining everything that you have been told or another person has told you or could tell you you know if you're stepping into future energy and dismissing anything that insults your soul you know again this is releasing anything that no longer assists in your soul's growth this is so that you can reach the next octave and experience something of a higher vibration when it comes to your outward dynamics and the things that you experience in the waking reality here pisces uh, pisces maybe this is piscean energy that we're talking about aquarius that's weird maybe some of you dealing with a pisces but that's like typical night of god's energy a little bit um maybe there's something that you're holding in and it kind of shows up in unhealthy ways. Like maybe a lot of you have kind of held something back because Piscean energy is wanting to see all colors of the rainbow, wanting to see a situation for what you want it to be rather than the reality of what it actually is. And it's knowing that the one person that you have to kind of extend compassion to yourself because I'm hearing the benefit of the doubt, but the benefit of the doubt here, transcendent tarot, like the benefit of the doubt. Okay, I hear you, I hear you, but hear me. Okay, <laughs> listen, listen to me, don't no, just hear. Um, this is also seeing that you have to give compassion to yourself because if your compassion does not include yourself, it's not really complete. You know, are you somebody that dismisses that compassion for yourself because you're always giving the benefit of the doubt to others? You know, this is about really knowing that your feelings are real. You know, what you feel is real. So if your intuition is picking up on something even if it's like, again, an initial red flag, like this is normalizing leaving after the first red flag, dismissing anything that insults your soul. And denial is again, replacing the fear with an insight of awareness, again, expanding your awareness. All right, let's go ahead and open up now with the tarot. And some of you, it's like, you know, thanking the universe for the lesson. Like, thank you for the lesson, universe. Like, I've really learned this. Because some of you may be like, why do I always attract the same type of people? Or, you know, why um, do I feel like I'm experiencing the same thing over and over again? You know, this is thanking the universe for the lesson, knowing that you've integrated it. You know, you've gained the wisdom. Again, you can accept, identify, you know, knowledge when this particular energy signature is uh, revealing itself to you, but also knowing that you do not wish to engage. And again, until you open up that insight of awareness and your conscious mind becomes aware of the unconscious, 
then you can begin to actually make decisions that can alter your fate. You know, it's changing the fate's design because if your con unconscious remains, con like, sorry, your con, yeah, your unconscious mind remains unconscious until you decide to open up your awareness and make it conscious, things will happen to you and it will feel like it's happening to you, but it actually it's happening through you and you'll just call it fate. Like again, you'll just be like, oh, why do these always like fated encounters always happen to me? Like you can change the fate's design with the ace of coins. So again, a new beginning. You know, this is about wiping a slate clean in some kind of area of your life and focusing on stability. What is gonna bring you that emotional stability, you know, in some way here. This is mastering your emotions. Because once you know who you are, you can't allow other people to kind of tell you who you are or how it is that you wanna be treated. You know, this is about really being okay and knowing that the divine like companion or union that you may seek also requires mastery of being alone. So a lot of you, again, it's about feeling stable in the roots of your being, your values, right? And not compromising the roots of your being. Right, we also have Ace of Swords too. So again, a lot of you, it's like, I'm focusing on stability. I'm focusing on clarity of mind. I'm not gonna invite some kind of confusion in my life if I don't like the cups that are being presented to me or the way that somebody kind of presents themselves to me. I'm not gonna be, you know, reluctant to walk away from this because that constant state of releasing in order to make room to receive what really is for you is gonna allow the universe to bring in more of what it is that you actually want and that you're ready for, you know, because again, it's like you're not just falling in love with an illusion because it will lead to discontentment, you know? Um, maybe some of you, it's like you're used to particular people, particular dynamics showing up in your life. And I'm gonna go ahead and explain this with all this fiery energy right here. So look, we have five of, uh, five of wands, 10 of wands, and then we also have the knight of wands at the base. Some of you are just used to like playerish like people or just things that could have a lot of passion but also not a lot of longevity okay um and maybe this is finding the passion in the consistency itself okay and like showing up for yourself consistently um because there's something about like some kind of energy that is consistently cons inconsistent and that's the only consistency about it you know it's like more i like the competition i like the uh like this can be conflicting energy, you know, break up to make up or uh, it brings excitement to f with, with the resistance that comes with this, but it also begins to feel like a burden. And there's something about taking whatever it is that you've learned and applying that into this next phase and chapter of your life so that you can seek some kind of triumph and victory, okay? After like ending some kind of, it's just like, I'm hearing like don't fight fire with fire or resistance just brings more resistance. Like some of you, it's the releasing of the resistance that you've been facing because it's like you could argue that resistance in a certain area will just again bring you more strength. But then also when there's too much resistance in a particular cycle, especially if you're setting expectations upon other people and they're not really meeting that and that leads to disappointment or it starts to become like a burden, that is also a clear indicator that there is a blockage there in some kind of way. And maybe it's time to take whatever it is that you've learned and apply that elsewhere. Okay, so some of you, it's like the resistance that you face with others. Let's go ahead and clarify these now. Maybe you're gaining clarity on what that actually is for a lot of you. Some of you are gaining clarity on like do actions align with words? You know, does the physical align with the mental? You know? Yeah, I feel like you're seeing like what commitment really is to you. Okay, and what it is that you wanna commit yourself to. Look at this Aquarius, look at this, look at this. Do you remember the last read that we did? We have the devil hiding behind the hierophant there. And a lot of you are seeing that, you know, again, committing yourself to this cycle 
where karma says i'm going to use this like the same kind of vibration or the same person or energy signature to hurt you again and again until you're strong enough to remove yourself from it right or your involvement in it and to recognize that you don't want to be involved and your actions actually align with your words because that is integrity it's doing the thing that is not always easy but it's the thing that is always necessary especially when it comes to like living life in a way where you can have that harmonious union between the self and the higher self okay because a lot of you it's it's gotten to the point now where you are planning preparing to connect with new people okay and this is about you knowing it's like the people that you connect yourself with can ultimately alter the trajectory of your life like you're actually seeing what relationships to others mean to you and how you're seeking some kind of stability within that maybe this is about trust that's going to be really important for you with this next phase maybe it's about open and honest communication maybe it's about really making sure that your values are in alignment so that you do have a foundation that is built to last when it comes to your connection to others and not teaching somebody how to treat you but actually allowing people to show you how they would treat you okay because then you'll see somebody's true colors and when somebody shows you their true colors you should believe them the first time and that's going to help you to prevent yourself from getting to this crossroads energy again around do i still want to remain connected to these people or is it time to release this this is about prevention instead of trying to reverse something okay by taking whatever it is that you've learned from this past cycle and applying that into this new reset and some of you it's a resetting your mentality and strategy when it comes to your connection to others right and um how that kind of comes to pass so yeah it's really focusing your values like are your values in alignment with other people or do people just sell you the illusion that that may be you know because that's very very clear to me here now the other kind of factor again i feel like you're kind of really seeing life from a different perspective where you're having enough pessimism to know that there's cycles in life or energies that you've kind of engaged with that have put you possibly in like this pessimistic uh standpoint okay and it's i'm hearing like energy is contagious maybe it's the people around you and you're starting to see this from a new perspective even if this is the people that you were kind of involved with i want to say that it allowed you to see a dimension within yourself that you may not necessarily have light right because all of our different connections to others bring out different dimensions within ourselves you know again we're interdimensional beings and maybe you're seeing there's certain things that you do want to surrender and let go okay that feel like they're no longer kitty in alignment with you my kitty kitty um she's like yeah bitch i do what i want <laughs> so yeah um maybe you guys are doing that you know it's like no one can really sway you or call you you know she's kind of got her eye on the next hunt the next thing right now so maybe you guys are feeling like that like people may try to come in and you know groom you in some kind of sense energetically like prepare you and try to weave you back in but you're also pessimistic to know that certain cycles aren't going to work anymore again the high demand is you're surrendering and letting go and accepting this very very quickly mm -hmm. and also optimistic enough to know with Sagittarian energy that there are new things that are there for you because again we do have the moon which is all about the element of the unknown and maybe some of these things are just the projections that others try to like sell you you know in some way because the moon is not a direct light source it's a reflection of the sun and again the sun is the soul so where could people be reflecting your soul back to you in that way like how could they be projecting upon you like the light that you already emit right almost like a mirroring act and this could be unconsciously that they try to do to energetically i just want to say like groom you into that energy again and it's knowing where to say no and what thing you do want to move towards next she's literally like um um, she's this one is a hunter the other one is chill but this one she she's on the hunt so maybe you guys are again you're kind of on the hunt to the next thing 
And also these are like distractions in some kind of way. Like where could people be distracting you off your soul's journey? Um, because the longer you postpone like releasing what isn't for you, or even if this is like actions and doing the same thing and expecting different results, at some point you have to shake up the algorithm within your own life and realize that some people could just be distraction off your path. And as you begin to walk the way, even if you don't know what way that could be, the way begins to unfold for you. Her sister's coming and watching her now. <laughs> just go. Um, she's like, bitch, what the fuck? You know, it's almost like your higher self maybe watching you do certain things. And it's like this bitch is wilding out or like people are trying to, you know, do certain things. Um, and they can and they can try, you know, it's cute, let them try. But again, this is about realizing that you're much wiser. This is the wisdom that has been long awaited, some kind of integration in your life. And it's like you're actually beginning to integrate that. Temperance is all about moderation as well and not rushing into the projections that other people try to sell you in some way because the moon illuminates the night sky but it doesn't bring as much clarity as the sun does, right? You can't see all the cracks and crevices. You can't really see people's pure intentions. And again, the devil likes to operate in the moon because it can use those arts of deception. Temperance is about you taking your time. And this is Knight of Cups uh, reversed energy, by the way. It's saying that slow and steady wins the race. Trust is going to be earned. It's not going to be given to you, Aquarius, okay? And again, temperance here is quite literally about moderation, like really moderating who, you know, your energy is a gift, right? And not everybody deserves that gift. Okay, gifts are um, only really given to certain people. And it's those people that you feel like really deserve your energy in that way. And you should see yourself as a precious diamond because you've been crushed by the weight of the world but that weight did not destroy you, you know, it, f it allowed you to form into almost like this new dimension within yourself where you're really standing your power and you're seeing the value of the resistance and how strong that has made you, especially when it comes to saying no, you know, and knowing that no is going to be a full sentence, it is a, it is a command, um, it's not something that has to be explained, you know, it's not something that has to be justified if that's how you feel, then honor your feelings and honor your values and don't allow anyone externally to kind of come in and make you, you know, question that. Don't lower your standards. But also, again, don't set expectations upon others. And that's how you're going to see the real ones and which ones are for you in this next cycle. So that's what um, Spirit wants me to cover for you guys today. Let's go ahead and close this reading out with the Shaman's Dream Oracle message. And uh, yeah, this is going to be the closing out story. We have lost in space needing direction and we have the many masks and the authentic self so there's something about like never changing who you are aquarius to be accepted by anybody and don't adapt to you for, for like you need to fit in okay because you guys are supposed to be outside of the box you guys are the eccentric and eclectic sign in the whole zodiac um so again the authentic self is about wearing the mask that feels true to you okay and <sighs> lost in space thing lost needing direction and focus a 24 hour day so this is about not like focusing on just like the end goal and the bigger vision for your life because it can seem so distant and far away this is focusing on again not falling prey to addictive behaviors of jealousy comparison resistance or fear knowing that this is about you changing for the better and up leveling a part of us hiding in the vast expansiveness of space wants to sabotage our process our progress so again some of you it's like it could seem so defeating that it feels like it's no more than like a distant vision, but it can be in the here and now. Just focus on again, like the relationship that you have with yourself first. Cause again, this companion or this union that you may seek externally requires the mastery of being alone. So uh, in the transformation process of our inner world that no longer feels safe or inhabitable, we find that our thoughts and beliefs have morphed beyond recognition. You may find yourself adrift in this way right now, unable to focus or determine the next step. You might be tired and simply need to regroup and rest. When you lack direction, the first thing to do is to redirect your perspective of time. Like a newborn baby who needs swaddling to feel safe, you're invited to reduce your life's visioning to the next 24 hours. Anyone can handle living in a 24 hour compartment, which allows everything to feel grounded and 
unmanageable. You get lost in space when you imagine being swallowed up in the great vastness of the future with its dark uncertainty or reflect on how your past has held you captive in a hall of distorted, never-ending mirrors. Remind you of your mistakes, flaws, failures and losses. Take to heart that the simple 24-hour container immediately banishes two of these awful eternities away. You will find that your energy and focus restored as you recognize that you were never lost at all keep it simple right now conserving your energy and take care of you in basic fundamental ways and the world will begin to feel right again so this is really focusing on self-care during this time aquarius okay in in many many forms literally self-care and focusing on your own personal universe during this time is going to be super super important There was something else that I was getting. Again, this is just not allowing your past to hold you captive anymore. Again, keep it simple. And yeah, I was getting um Aquarius in uh, your sign, right? Sorry, Pluto in Aquarius, right? Your sign. So I feel like this is a lot to do with Pluto in, in Aqua and this kind of being in retrograde. And that's why I got the astral message for you guys. It's seeing how far it is that you have already transformed um, your personal beliefs, your personal attributes, right? First houses were also about the personal beliefs that you have about self. And because you're changing the way that you see yourself, the people that are also kind of viewing you from the outside perspective of the world and how you show up you're also changing before people's eyes so there's something about like really recognizing that your personal relations will also be changing because of that your identity is changing and any attachments to that old identity are also dissolving away so allow any of those illusions that no longer serve you to dissolve away and uh this is really about living in your authentic self during this time again coming back to yourself Anything that had been repressed or suppressed is really uh, coming to the surface for you to release it. So yes, I wish you the very best of luck here, Aquarius. Uh, hopefully this reading brought you any clarification or insight that you needed around this stage in your journey. I'm wishing you all the best of luck. And uh, take a look at your weekly readings on my second channel that's going to be linked in the description box down below. Personal reads are also down below. If you're not already subscribed to this channel or want to stick around for future reads, you consider subscribing. But until next time, Aquarius, bye!